buddies here. This how the shit. I don't know what anybody else is talking about. I don't know what else is going on anywhere else. But this is how the shit. I mean, first of all, okay. I know they're just trying to dodge all the important situations and issues. But the Democrats also think that's hot, apparently. Because they're not talking about anything else other than that right now. Anyway, tonight we're going to be discussing... We're going to be discussing a situation in Atlanta. We're going to be discussing how it seems... It's hot in here. Not in my opinion. We're going to be discussing how it seems, or allegedly, there is a big named rapper who plans on taking the stand. Because, quote, he doesn't like how what Atlanta turned into. It's supposed to be about making money. But before we get to any of that, I got this thing I got to talk about real quick. So, y'all know uh, we have a lot of secondary stories over here. What I mean by that is, um, there's stories that we cover over here that we generally talk about a lot. Like, for like Amber Heard. I didn't, never made an actual Amber Heard video, I don't think. But, uh, we talked about Amber Heard for like, weeks every single show we bring up something you know what i'm saying so she became part of our content even though we didn't necessarily put her in the title you know we don't give a fuck about what's going on i think i made like one or two videos or whatever but you know that's not what it is so what i want to say is whack 100 Whew. so i heard a video today i want to be clear on something I'm never trying to tell anybody else how to run your community. You know your people better than I don't even know my own people. So both there you go. So I'm not never telling anybody to run their own community. Let's be clear on this. But obviously they decided that they want to destroy CEO Reek and they want him completely off of the internet. Um I guess it depends on where his heart is at, what he does next. Okay, so I just found out what an iron donkey is, apparently. I could have went without it, just so we could be clear. So, someone, I don't know who exposed it. I know I saw it on a video talking about Whack 100's Clubhouse, though. But someone exposed some videos of CEO Reek. From, I don't know, a couple of years ago or some shit? I don't know what it was. And he was calling himself Iron Donkey. Now, does anybody know? Let me do roll call real quick because I, I just I really just want to be able to read the comment section because I want to know if anybody knows what that is because I did not know what that was. Uh, shout out to all the D Glass. This is good evening, my brother. Salute. Family. Frost. Let's go. I did not know what that was. I was out of the loop. That was a loop I don't need to be in also, just so we can be clear. That loop has nothing to do with me. <laughs> when I see that loop, I'm gonna mind my business. <laughs> that loop ain't got shit to do with me. That loop has its own situations going on. And since I'm not a part of that loop, I mind my business when it comes to said loop. I just want to be clear on this. What up, Champagne? I just want to be clear on this. I mind my business when it comes to said loop. I'm not here to demonize said loop. I'm not here to hold said loop up. I'm here to say said loop is over there. I'm not a part of it, so I can't really speak on it much. So I say all that to say, apparently, they got this thing where you take a metal ballot symbol, you make it cold, so anyway, he calls himself Iron Donkey. <laughs> They get the footage. They put the footage out. For everybody that don't know who the CEO Reek is, I don't really know who he is either. I just always saw him as the guy that um, Wack 100 threw out in front to be the, if anything goes wrong, he takes the fall. That's what I always saw him as, to be honest with you. He's taking the fall right now. Something went wrong. Boom. So this he's doing his job. So check this out real quick. I'm laughing about that part, mainly because... Wack 100 say he's LBGTQ friendly, so I don't understand why this is something that they would make fun of him about. 
just to be honest with you. I'm just laughing because I didn't know that that was a thing. Like, <laughs> that's a thing? What the fuck? Um, yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. But apparently, he's a part of the LGBTQ community. So, I thought Wack 100 was cool with them. Like, he says that on numerous occasions that he's cool with them. So, I don't understand why they're going to be mad at him over that or whatever the case is. I don't know. Whatever. I don't care about that. I just thought that shit was funny. I got one more thing I want to say about that real quick. This is the part and the only thing that they said that I thought was disgusting. That man they said was living in his car. And I think that that's disgusting that they made fun of him about that. We gotta be better than that. I know there's people that I don't like and they not doing great. And you don't, I don't talk about it. I'm bringing it up. Some of them fronting like they're doing good. And I, I, could, I could expose them, but I, I wouldn't do that. You understand what I'm saying? We're not supposed to kick each other when we down. And I say that to say that's different from when I'm talking about a little real life matter that's prevalent to the conversation. If it's prevalent to the conversation and it's worthy of bringing up, I would. But just to bring it up in order to try to, to uh, kick this man when he's down and make it so that nobody... So he's alone and by himself with no resources and nothing. This is what I mean by in this world that we have now, people, it's, it's a lack of empathy. It's like people look for situations in order to look down on people. Like that's what it's about. Partnering up. And going after somebody and tearing them down. And when you finish with them, y'all go have fun. And you find somebody else and do any rinse and repeat. And I just think that that's disgusting. Laugh at him about the iron donkey thing. I mean, I don't know why you LBGTQ friendly. So I don't know why you do that. Um, you know, I guess, you know. Y'all rip each other like that. So I guess that's cool. But... The whole making fun of the dude because he's on hard times and he's living in his car. Now that makes me look at whack even worse. Because you know dude living in his car, you living good. You see Duke is trying to go out there and try to get some money. You know he need that money, he living in his car. And you busy out there talking about he trying to steal from you. He trying to hustle and trying to make some money so he can stop living in his car. And instead of you looking at it like that, you looking at it like he trying to get over on you. Like he trying to scam you. What kind of nigga is you, homie? What kind of nigga is you that you're going to have your man right there that's supposed to be doing work with you and you see him trying to get his bread up because he in a bad situation. And what you do is you try to hold that against him and try to make it seem like he's trying to fuck you over. Instead of you saying, oh, okay, little homie, I see what you're trying to do, but you're not doing it right, so boom, let's make it happen like this. Because I know you need to make this happen. I don't know, man. I just think that. I'm, not, I, I, I'm just on some real shit. Like we a cat there. It is what it is, though. <laughs> for real, for real. It is what it is, though. Um, one more thing I wanted to mention, and then I'm going to get right to the show. <laughs> so I was watching Instagram, <laughs> and I noticed something. Whenever a non-black person caught an actual black person, the N-word, everybody backs up. <laughs> Everybody back up. Every people be trying to break the fight up. Everybody trying to stop it. People is throwing their body in the lineup like fists and shit. But once that non-black person say the N-word to the actual black person, everybody like, oh damn, he did it now. <laughs> <And> shit. <laughs> that be dumb funny, yo. I mean like I I I um just recently on Instagram, I seen it like like in the last couple of days, I seen a situation like that happen like more than once, and I was just thinking to myself like, and I think about times I seen that in real life myself, I seen it, and I was like, yeah, because you gotta back up. If you black, you gotta let him get his off, and if you white, you don't give up. This. <laughs> Nigga, I was with you. <laughs> I was on your side when you said that shit. What the hell? All right, let's get to the show. Allegedly, 
roll call. Uh, shout out to Champagne. He said, how's everything? Grow chilling. What up, Tori Moses? Sometimes people act like they're helping you when they really, um, when they really pity you. Um, hold on, stop. Whenever you're giving somebody resources, you're helping. Your feeling about why you're giving the resources have nothing to do with you giving the resources. God deemed that you was going to give the resources. So for whatever reason you did, how you're feeling is dependent on how those resources and what you are doing is going to be reflected on your integrity and on your relationship with God. You understand what I'm saying? So if you give and it's from the heart, that's going to be a reflection of your relationship to God. If you give, and it's for a different reason, it's going to be a reflection of your relationship with God. And I think that that's sometimes what people aren't actually realizing. That uh, th we were giving, uh, this is why I bring this up so often, and it's for a reason. Um, we were given free will for a reason. You do understand that, right? We were given free will for a reason. Every time you choose to do whatever you choose, you're choosing what your relationship with the Most High is. This is just facts. Take take whatever you want with it. Anyway. <clears throat> RD Glass says, is that the clip with a black dude through the dude over the counter? Nah, not that clip. It was a different clip. Did he throw him over the counter? Or like, uh, the latest one I saw, real quick. The latest one I saw was like some short white dude. And he was like yelling at some black dude. So it's not other black dude. And he was about to clash. So another black dude jumped in the middle of it to be like, nah, nah, nah. Big old, no stop. Like, nah, nah. Ain't little dude, let it go. And some other dude was like on the other side also like trying to like break it up. And then dude said, nah, something, something, the N-word. And he was like, oh, he was saying something like that. That shit was super funny. <laughs> like, oh, get did it now. And then everybody backed up. And then the nigga, he did some street. He caught him with the quick left. Like, boom, he stepped right into it. It was it was nice, too. And he hit him. And it, was, it was a rap. But he had to reach on him. And the little dude, like, see, that's the anyway. So he threw and he, and he gave himself up. You know what I'm saying? He gave himself up. He should have. Tried to trick him into stepping into something. He should have threw a wild something or other and step back. He just didn't have to reach him in. The guy's fucking legs was... The other tall guy's arms was probably longer than his legs. Like, it was crazy. You understand what I'm saying? So you gotta try to trick that nigga. I don't know what to tell you. You gotta try to trick him. You gotta do something wild make the nigga walk into it. And you gotta, when you walk into it, you just gotta get a good shot of him. Depends on how, how hard you can lean into it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Uh, anyway, um, that's literally what I did. I just, I'm not as physically fit as I know I'm going to be. So I didn't know how, I, I didn't know how to lean into it further. I don't know I would. Anyway, um, That's a good trap. Anyway, um, an Atlanta rapper is allegedly helping the police and is going to take the stand. First thing I want to do is I want to reference Seti Nash. Do y'all know who Seti Nash is? He's a YouTube channel. He be on point. He got this dope shit that he called his tank the 10%. He called it the, his notification team the 10%. That's lit. That's lit, lit. I love when I see other um, content creators coming up with dope ideas. That's It sound like they own ideas. You understand what I'm saying? I love that. You know what I'm saying? So, salute to um, Seti. Anyway, so Seti Nash was talking about, and I want to talk about a couple of points that he made real quick. Because everybody is bringing up T.I.'s name. Because, like I said, allegedly, the reason in which why the rapper is going to be taking a stand is because he doesn't like what Atlanta has turned into. So you have to assume that whatever rapper is going to take the stand is a rapper that's from Atlanta, correct? 
And not for nothing, um, unless somebody had an ulterior motive, because I'll speak about that a little bit later, you would also have to assume that it's from a rapper that's from the uh, previous generation. Is that fair? I mean, this is just assumptions that you could just make from the alleged tweet that was sent out. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have the tweet available. But from the alleged tweet that was sent out, I'm going to look and see a uh, page that might have it real quick. From the alleged tweet that was sent out. Hold on. Um, I think in the streets might have it, right? This nigga dubbed all his... What the fuck? Oh. No, I don't see it. Oh, no. I don't see it, but he did post something else pertaining to it. Uh, when we get to that part, I'm going to uh, play the, the other thing that he posted. It was something that DJ Academic said. Let me see if DJ Academic's got it. That's where I should look for us. What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, like I, I, yeah he don't got it. I, I just wouldn't think uh, DJ Academics would have had it. Because of, uh, it, I just, might make a video, but not throw it on his Instagram. Just from what I've seen with him, it's just, uh, he just, that's just not a move he would make. Obviously, <laughs> Joe Biden is, Joe Biden is saying that's, uh, One second. Sorry, Michelle. Sure. So check this out. Show's been slow. I'm going to apologize about that. We're going to pick it up right now. He says it's hot as shit. If you don't see me sweating, I don't know if I fucking tell you. It's hot as shit. Show slow. I get it. Hold on. I'm going to pick up right now. Listen and pay attention. I'm watching Seti Nash's channel. He brought up some great points about T.I. I'm going to bring up the T.I. points first. Um, like I said before, T.I. is definitely a person that considers himself king of the South. I want to explain something. These activists cannot keep calling themselves activists if they not are if they are not actively trying to clean up the streets. And I'm not saying get people locked up and put in jail. I am 100% not saying that. I want to be clear on this. Cleaning up the streets could be figuring out a way to bring resources to the fucking block. Figuring out a way to get something popping in the neighborhood, maybe, and then... Maybe then we could get the city to look at the neighborhood. Then maybe we could get some things that go, go on. You understand what I'm saying? Like, figuring out a way to generate, bringing resources. <laughs> I'm, I'm being quiet because I'm about to be too specific. Specific in a minute. So, just so we could be clear... I think that all activists is, should be cleaning up in their neighborhoods first. Like, literally, the neighborhoods that they live and lived in first, just so we can be clear. One of the main things I would want to do is go back to every school I've ever been to. Every school I've ever, my elementary school, my junior high school, and my high school. And figure out a way to get some kind of programs going there. Figure out a way to get something going with the BBN and those schools. Immediately. Ha 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 absolutely. I, I actually have ideas already. Not for nothing. <laughs> no, 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 I got ideas. But the point is, is that 100% what I will be wanting to do. Don't get this shit confused. We have to bring resources back. You don't think I wouldn't want to 
I, I, I grew up in um, Conquest Village. We got to figure out something, bring some. So this is what we're supposed to be trying to do. I'm not an activist, though. I'm just a YouTube content creator at this point. I do some other shit on the side, too. But basically, that's what I do. I create content. I mean, have slash influencer. <laughs> do some other stuff. But all said and done, you have to bring resources back to the neighborhood. I don't think this is a young rapper that would do this. I think it would be a rapper that's 35 and up. So I choose C.I. <coughs> 40 and up, actually. Um, they say T.I. Killer Mike's name came up. Killer Mike has affiliations with the police department. Uh, he has a relative that was in the, the police department. And if y'all remember, uh, they saying that this Rico actually got the green light and when the police officer was killed for everybody that forgot. This Rico actually got the green light when this police officer got killed. I believe he was killed. That's when this whole Rico got the green light. So that would even lend more to the... These guys is taking a stand. But I want to say something real quick. I don't think it's this person. But I want to say something. I'm going to throw somebody else's hat in the ring. I don't think it's this person. Though. But who knows who it is. Who y'all think it is? Put it in the chat. I don't think it's this person. What up, Rude? Don't already see them dots, Joes. What up, Springs? He said, what you think about that Conway Funk Flex freestyle? Did he do a new one? Because he did one in back a while ago that was... Absolute garbage. Did he do a new one? I'm hoping so. What up, Springs? You already know what it is. Tori Mosey says, The page uh, Gossip of the City T broke the story yesterday. They think it may be Killer Mike too. Look. Look, I'm just telling y'all the situation. I'm just breaking down uh, or I'm just uh, discussing the topic with you. I don't know who it is. Who do y'all think it's going to be? Based on the content of the tweet, you would expect for it to be someone who has business in Atlanta. I'm going to explain something. People love getting to the bag and not reaching back. So what happens is a lot of people that would reach back don't make it because they are too generous. And the people that they're dealing with sometimes don't think that they're going to reach back. So they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing to help push the star to the top. They're doing a whole bunch of other weirdo shit because they like, I got to think about me. It's only this nigga only thinking about himself. See, that's the problem when you got a mission, you got a mission, you got a mission, you got a mission, you got a mission. All separate missions. That's why sometimes to get where you got to go, you got to be by yourself. Because sometimes niggas ain't on the same mission you want. They on some other shit. And that's not even a knock to them. They, they don't get off of your shit, stay on your shit. But they're not on your mission. And sometimes the only way to get your mission done is if you're with people that's on your mission. Period. So listen, I don't know if it's Killer Mike. I don't know if it's T.I. Another name that came up, because they're thinking it's got to be somebody, like I said, uh, an older rapper or whoever the case is, right? Another name that came up was 2 Chains. I don't know, whatever. But I want to say something, because this is this one particular person that I think... Uh, That if I was the government, I would be trying to work a deal out with. I don't know if they would talk. And that would be YF and Lucci. Oh, shit. Spring said it's the Migos. Didn't the Mi one of the Migos get stripped by Lil Baby? Didn't one of the Migos get stripped by Lil Baby? 
Which one was it? Quavo or Offset? I don't know. It wasn't Offset. Which one was it? Did one of them Migos get stripped by the Offset? It was Offset. Yeah, one of the, I don't know what it was. <laughs> you could be wrong too. You could be guessing like I'm guessing. Yeah, one of the Migos got stripped. It's <laughs> a so funny dude. He said, yo, it's the Migos. That good that guy got stripped. He said, never again. Never again will I be outside without all of my clothes on. I'm going to start wearing eight pair of pants. Just for the hell of it. In Atlanta. 100 degree weather. 16 t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go get one of them one of them hats that the Russians wear. With all the fur. In Atlanta. Never come outside without it. I'm going to wear six shoes. <laughs> You gonna put on six pair of shoes. <laughs> he gonna buy them. He's gonna buy them at sizes <laughs> that's big enough for him to put the whole shoe in the next shoe. Pardon me, I'm sorry about that. I ain't mean to start laughing at that stupid shit. Oh man, that's stupid I don't know if it's the which one you're talking about. It's the new one or the old one. I didn't hear new one. The old one, funk the people been killing them over it. What up, Anthony Juarez? He said, is that the reason they split up? Because one is working with them boys, allegedly. Well, Amigo said they split up every time, though. Oh, wow. I didn't hear the one that dropped tonight. Oh, wow, that's a great point. Ah, that's a great point. But it can't be Offset is with Cardi B. You think Offset is snitching? Offset is with Cardi B. Cardi B from the Bronx. I don't think Offset is snitching. I don't think Offset was the one that was stripped either. Offset with Cardi B. You sure Offset was the one that was stripped? Cardi B from the Bronx. <laughs> You sure it was Offset? <coughs> I think it was Quavo that was stripped, man. I don't think it was Offset, man. I think it was Quavo. Pardon me. I think it was Quavo that was stripped. <laughs> I swear, it can't be him. <laughs> it can't be him. His wife is from the Bronx. The hell? I don't believe that shit. I'm going to need to see some. Who did he have stripped? Somebody send me something. I don't believe that shit. The wife is from the Bronx, man. The fuck are you talking about? Any of y'all singing? I got a real quick question. Any of y'all singing this nigga new song, Hoochie Daddy? I'm curious. Any, any of y'all singing that Hoochie Daddy song? Anybody like, ain't nothing but a Hoochie Daddy. Ain't nothing but a Hoochie Daddy. <laughs> Anybody singing that song? Anybody singing that song? Real quick, I'm curious. <laughs> Anybody singing that song? <laughs> 
Anyone! <laughs> Anyone see that song? <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Nobody singing that song? <laughs> Appreciate everybody that pulled up to hang out tonight. <laughs> Bobby is happy to be free. I was just telling somebody that. He was like, that song ain't it. I said, that song ain't, don't gotta be it. He, that nigga happy. <laughs> That's what I told him too. He happy. That's literally what I said. He happy with the laughing emojis. <laughs> Shout out to Bobby Schmerner. All right. I've been all over the place. I know. I've been all over. I told you I need a scope. I need a, a co a co uh be the anchor, a co sponsor, a co host. Um I don't really need a co host. I'm just all over the place tonight. Uh listen, pay attention. I just feel like having a good time tonight. It's just that we're having this con we have we're just talking about this. This is one of those nights where if the saloon was open, like it'd be late. Like that. This is one of those nights. Like this is like the energy. Um Listen and pay attention. Y F N Lucci. I don't know if he's snitching. I'm not saying he's snitching. I'm not putting that on him. But you know how the police work. They tried to kill that boy allegedly. That's in Rico. You don't think that they're not trying to put pressure on YF and Lucci to take the stand? You know how people get mixed information. You know, how, you know how bad information come out. You see how Memphis police do? Memphis police was straight up lying to the fucking um, straight up lying to the press. Facts. Memphis police was just straight up lying. They would just say any old thing. Shout out to them niggas. They was selling the press any old thing. The press was coming out saying all types of different shit. Them niggas was coming out. The press were asking questions about that uh, young thug, uh, the uh, young dog situation. They start giving answers to a case that don't got shit to do with it. I don't know what to tell you, so I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, so I don't know what to tell you. Shout out to them niggas. Um, Spring says, pull mic. No, I gotta just speak louder. I don't have a mic. I just got the phone. If I get closer to the fucking phone, I'm gonna be like, yo, what up? Was that all of the things? You're gonna be like, I'm gonna be able to see me. I'm gonna be doing the whole show like this. Yeah, what's happening over here? Yo, look at that. Like, what the fuck is going on with Frost? <laughs> <laughs> I don't gotta ask you money your bees. <laughs> yo, I keep trying to tell y'all, yo, I'm just gonna be quiet. I'm doing what I'm doing. When we when we get stuff like that, we use it. Copy, that's it. Look, Samuel Vila. Yeah, so that's what I mean. So the police over in Atlanta. I don't know. They could be lying. They could be saying any old thing, or they could just be just misleading. Because remember, them dudes over in Memphis, but Memphis, I think the reason why they was putting out all that bad information also, I just think that their police department is just so dirty. You understand what I'm saying? I think their police department is just dirty. Just absolutely terrible. You know what I'm saying? So there was niggas trying to cover their ass. So that's why all them lies is coming out. That's why I stopped doing this shit. I said, yo, look, this is like, this is crazy. I'm going to tell you what happened real quick. So there was a couple of times that I did not want to cover that shit. But I had to cover the shit because they just, three lies just came out. And, well, three things came out to be lies. So I'm like, fuck, now I got to, but now it look like I'm just talking about the shit every day. But I'm not really talking about the shit every day. I'm clarifying the shit. I, I hate that shit. I don't know what to tell you. I don't like talking about a topic more than two days in a row. 
What up, Kumba? What up, KC? We're more than two shows in a row. If I talk it on the Tonight Show, then Morning Coffee, I, the next Tonight Show, gotta be something different. Unless new shit is just coming out and there's no choice. What up, Lex Luger dropping those pros? Yeah, unless new shit is coming out, then there's no choice. What the fuck am I gonna do about that? Like, yo, why are you talking about this every day? It's a fucking trial, nigga. They have court every day. <laughs> The fuck you mean? <laughs> Yo, sometimes I'm trying to tell you. We were just talking about the new Bobby Schmoder song. Ain't nothing but a hoochie daddy. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all don't know how badly I would have clowned on that shit. But I'm not going to lie to you. If I had a girlfriend, I would play that song all the time and be fucking, <laughs> be just like, you know, bugging out. Like, you know, like clowning and shit. That would be my clowning world song and shit. I'd be playing that shit all the time and shit. She would get so sick of that damn song. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> I promise you she would get so sick of that song. So it'll be on all the time, nigga. What did you talk about? <laughs> what did you? How is you niggas that got are uh, in relationships not playing that song all the time? You hear that fucking songs they play that we gotta keep listening to? <laughs> how are y'all not playing that song on repeat? This song will be on repeat. <laughs> My fucking doorbell ring ain't no but a hoop today. <laughs> It would be terrible. What's wrong with you niggas? Why do you think when the person was telling me I sent them laughing emojis? Because it was a female that sent me to talk about it. Because she was like, this shit is terrible. So I was laughing happy. Look at that shit. Hey, well, y'all got y'all in whole relationships with women that force y'all to listen to fucking Megan Thee Stallion twenty times a damn day, and you're not playing that song on repeat. <laughs> that song would be on repeat. The fuck? <laughs> I'd be like, look, you know what? You gotta play a song. I gotta play a song. She play one of the Megan Thee Stallion songs. I play that shit. She plays some regular music. I play some regular music. <laughs> she play one of them fucking, them one of them damn Megan Thee Stallion type song, hot girl songs. I don't listen to that shit. I'm like, nah, ain't not a problem. I play Uji Daddy. <laughs> we gonna be petty tonight, babe. <laughs> Doing all the hoochie daddy dances. I be making up some new hoochie daddy dances. I think I'm gonna make them some. I don't like bad girl, but I mean making up some new hoochie daddy dances. I'm, I'm, a, I'm you don't understand. I like that. You know what? <laughs> it's a good thing I'm single. I play too much. Um, yeah, I play too much. I would never get no work done. I be, I be climbing all the time. She had to go get a job just to stay away from me so I can get work done. I be climbing all the time. Except for when I get super serious. And then I don't want to talk to nobody. Everybody got to get the hell away from me. Because I'm working. Yeah. That's when people get upset. Shit. They be like, yo, Jake, we're good. Or good. I'm like, nah, we're working. I was working on an important project that I can't let nobody know what I was doing. So I was keeping to myself. That's it. That's it. That's all. Nothing personal. <laughs> Nothing personal. I was just working on an important project that I couldn't let nobody know what I was doing. I was keeping it to myself. So therefore, I pushed everybody out for a minute while I worked and I focused. People take that shit personal. Everybody, yo, this nigga didn't call me for a week. I ain't calling nobody for a week. Matter of fact, I, I called you in, 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 in like eight days. There's people I didn't call for two months. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You was important. <laughs> let me stop. Everybody is important. I just, I'm bad on the phone. 
Um, let's get back to the ATL conversation. Uh, I drifted. I was telling jokes. I told you I'm in one of those moves tonight. Um, told you I'm in one of those moves tonight. I'm in a good mood. I'm, in, I'm happy. I'm in a good mood. So stay focused. Check this out. Listen. Pay attention. If T.I. takes the stand, and he takes the stand because he wants to clean up the streets and make it safe for the women and the, and the children, are you against him or are you for him? Put it in the chat. I want to know. Are you against him or are you for him? Because, look, if this is true, this is going to change everything. All right, so I want to stop everything real quick. I want to have a whole different conversation. Go speak to some of these spiritual people. I'm not saying that this is true, but go speak to some of these spiritual people. Apparently, something allegedly happened on the planet, and we're having a energy change shift or some shit like that, right? I don't know what to call it. It's not Tip. It's David Banner. Okay. That's a good conversation. So hold on. So allegedly there's some kind of energy shift. Oh, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know nothing about none of this stuff. And and that's why uh allegedly uh, a lot of this stuff is going on. What up, uh you rock the great. I haven't seen you in a while. Hope everything is going well with you smooth. So that's why a lot of this stuff is going on, allegedly, right? Allegedly. I mean I'm just just hear me out. If you notice a lot of the super rich billionaire niggas been allegedly fake giving their money away and real giving their money away. But I think it's mostly fake giving their money away to look like they're giving their money away. So, one more thing to say. In the last days, when the Most High come, right, two more things to say, listen. In the last days when the Most High come, right, uh, it's supposed to, like, get hot. Right? Okay, so boom. Let's stop for a second. You think the earth is hot because the sun is hot? That's not why the earth is hot. That's not how the, the sun heats the earth. The sun heats the earth because the sun rents out radiation. When the radiation hits our atmosphere, the radiation then transforms and turns into heat. And heats our planet. The sun doesn't let out heat. The sun lets out radiation. Y'all do know this, right? Like, this isn't nothing new, right? That's why space isn't in fi on fire. You <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm not trying to be a dick. Sometimes I have these conversations and before I start talking, I'm, I'm thinking that we all on the same page and I might just be confusing some people. The sun doesn't heat the earth because the sun is hot. The sun lets out radiation. You know when there's uh, sunspots? That's when the, 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 the flares and all that shit, that's radiation. You understand? You do know this, right? Anyway. So, if we look at heat as not heat, but radiation... If we look at sunlight as not sunlight, but radiation. What do we get from sunlight? We get a literal vitamin from sunlight. Is y'all niggas... I, I, this is, I shouldn't even be having this conversation, right? I shouldn't even be having this conversation, right? Because... I don't think I should be having this conversation. I'm going to get back to the Atlanta conversation. I don't think we want to have this conversation. 
Copy. Yeah, I gotta change these light bulbs anyway. I'm gonna. I don't know what that D means. I don't know what that. I don't know what you're doing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Vitamin D. So yeah, we get an actual vitamin. That's radiation. You don't. Uh. Anyway. Anyway. So I, I just, this is this is what I mean by like. Everything is connected. So. Y'all better start getting y'all good deeds in. Y'all better... All of this shit that y'all doing that y'all not supposed to be doing, I advise you to get straight with God. That's all I got to say. Why they... They're, they're talking about how the whole world is getting hotter. I don't know... I don't know what they're talking about. But are they really saying that we're having more radiation on the earth? Is that really what they're saying? The sun doesn't give out heat. The sun gives out radiation. <laughs> if, if the sun just gave out heat, then why the fuck is space not on fire? It. Anyway, um, point I was trying to make is whoever the person is that's going to take the stand, we have to decide what what side you're on. When you don't do anything, you do make a choice. When you make no choice, you make a choice. When you make no decision, you make a decision. When you do nothing, you do do something. You're doing nothing. That is something. So, once again, and this is, I'm not trying to bring up Bible shit, but we should be actively out there trying to do good. Because we are all born into sin. So we should be actively out there trying to do good. Actively, we should be hunting for good deeds. I used to do that, not for nothing. Like, but I was just bored. I was just bored. I was just bored. I was just a bored teenager. Remind me, I was just a bored teenager. I used to just go outside and go help strangers out. Walk around and just do random shit. Like, just get into shit. I don't know what to tell you. Like, just literally, just be in the crib, be like, I'm bored, and just walk in the direction and just go get into shit <laughs> by myself. Um, what up, Tato? I haven't seen you in a while, my brother. Hope everything is going well. Freaking, um, get your good deeds in, man. Change, change whatever y'all doing out here. Get right with the Lord, man. Uh, and this, it says in the Bible, don't go to the hell following other people. So don't follow other people. You decide what you're ready to, what you can live with and what you can't live with. You decide it. Don't let other people decide it for you. Uh, Lex Lucas said, uh, Killer Mike is another person they saying could be talking because his family is deep in law enforcement. Look, I'm gonna, just going to be honest with you. Let's stop talking about Elena for a minute. What did I tell y'all about Eric Adams? I told y'all Eric Adams... Is trying to go for a bigger office. Right? I told you, Eric Adams considered himself basically the mayor of America. Like, of all of Right? You know this nigga had a mayor meeting? He had a meeting with other mayors. What the fuck, yo? What the fuck? You're calling 
hiring mayors from other cities to come to New York to have a meeting? Why? Are you niggas a union? What the fuck, yo? But I told y'all that shit was... Wasn't I talking about that damn way? Wasn't I talking about that shit? Didn't I tell you about that guy? Shout out to Eric Adams. I'm not I'm not going at him. I'm not going at him. He's the king of the mess. I don't know nothing else to tell you. Go get this dude a crown. Get him a staff and shit. Get a big NY with an apple put on that bitch. Have a big ass hat. This nigga is king of the mess. You understand that? So hold on. I digress. These dudes plan on taking political office. You do know that, right? You know who Killer Mike is, right? You see, T.I. was trying to push that wave. T.I. used to mess around, hang out, hang out with the previous mayor of Atlanta. That was his people. You do know these niggas want to be politicians, right? He said, Eric Adams, ex-police, running in one of the most crime-ridden cities in New York City. In America, actually, our gun violence is down from last year. If you go from uh, last year, January to May, to this year, January to May, we have less gun violence and less gun deaths, actually. That's a factual statement. Go look it up. And it's a big difference, too. It's not a small difference. It's not like three or four. It's like a big difference. One is a big enough difference for me, just so we could be clear. Just being less and not more. But it's a, the numbers is, is not, it's a big difference. I'm sticking up for Eric Adams because I actually uh, go at him a lot. Crime up in New York at record labor levels. Uh, we're coming off of a pandemic. Gun violence and crime is down. Uh, other crime is up, but I live in New York City. Hold on. I live in New York City. And I don't think these crimes are down. I think they're just putting them on the news now. I, well, I lived out in the Bronx on Crows over in there in um, fucking um, Soundview area. I used to see people get shot and killed all the time, and it don't make the news, homie. Now those things are making the news. That's it. Banana in the tailpipe, man. That's it. They have to make everything look bad, worse right now, because they're trying to, you know, create fear, because they want to uh, manipulate us to do something. Whenever anybody try to create any kind of... That's why I keep trying to tell you. Whenever I'm unsure about shit, I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want nobody around me. I don't want nobody trying to influence me into anything. I don't want to talk to you about shit. You might be the one trying to fuck my shit up to make me and not know what to do. So then you can try to manipulate me to do the thing you want me to do. So no, nigga. I'm, when I'm going to be by myself until I figure this out. Once again, I don't know if you're just here to argue with me or make me seem like I'm just being argumentative with you, even though it's obvious that I'm not. What I'm saying is, is that I personally seen a lot of crime that was being committed in New York City myself that was not reported. And it wasn't minor crimes. It were big crimes. What I'm saying is, now those crimes are being reported on the news, whereas before they weren't. Now, I know you just here to argue with me, and I know there's no way that I could put that 
that you will not think that you should be arguing with me. So I'm just not going to address it no more. And that's how I feel on the matter. And you can feel however you want to feel. <laughs> Freaking, um... These dudes is trying to be politicians. Don't let nobody fool you. Especially Big Mike. And I don't see no reason why he shouldn't be. I, I wouldn't vote for T.I. ever. But. Big Mike is as good as any other politician. I've heard him speak. He's pretty smart. He has some good ideas. Because that's really what you want. You want people with ideas. You understand what I'm saying? You want people with ideas. That's what you want. You want your politicians to have ideas. You want people that got solutions. You don't know what's actually going to work. So you got to get somebody that's, you know, fixed a couple of things. And then you, you hire them for a new position where other things need fixing. See if they can fix some of those things. And you go hire them at a new... So that's basically how that works. So... I don't see any reason why Killer Mike couldn't be a politician. I just think that that's what those dudes is going for. So, um, I don't know if this is real or not. Also, once again, <clears throat> there's no telling. As far as we know, this is all just somebody speaking. Somebody could just be trying to just make a threat. Uh, we don't know. You can't believe everything the police say. Remember what they did in Memphis. Do tell you this though. If I was the police, I'd be trying to get YFN Lucci to take the stand and only ask him what's his mother's house shot at. We're not going to ask him to point at nobody. We're not going to ask him to say Young Thug's name. We're not going to ask him to say anybody's name, anybody's name. Because we only want them, because this is what we're going to do. Every single person, we're going to get five, six, seven people that know that this house was shot up. Right? We, we don't have forever. So we're not going to be up there all day with them. We're going to bring them up there to ask them about the rap lyric. Ask everybody about the rap lyric. Ask everybody, did this lady's house get shot up? Then when we're done with all that block cluster that we're trying to... I'll just bring YF and Lucci on the stand and ask them one question. Was your mother's house shot up? Yes, it was. Thank you very much. It's all, in, all questions. That's it. All I want to do is prove to the to the jury that this lyric right here is something that actually happened. So now it's quantifiable that he has not now it's something that we could calculate that there are lyrics that he actually had that became actual real life scenarios. So now we don't have to keep proving that every single lyric. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You're just only going to be coming here to argue with me. I don't want to argue with you, so I'm just going to keep it. All right? I never said that New York streets wasn't violent or whatever. I said that they're violent and dangerous every day. I don't never want to talk to you. You just lie. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't never want to talk to a person that lies. It's a waste of time. You're just going to lie, right? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> don't make sense. 
Um, somebody said, might have been the dude that got kicked. No, somebody said that, yeah, that's an, yeah, I got him kicked also, because he's the only comments I see. I kick people quicker when they're annoying, and I only see their comment, I kick them quicker. Like, okay, this is the only person that couldn't talk to me. I'm going to kick this person. This person. Killer Mike is another person. Uh, yeah, he's the person. Oh, so he's the person that said the other individual's name? Good, I'm not taking that seriously then. Good, I'm not taking that seriously either. Good thing I didn't take this to fuck so seriously initially. Um, we got 72 people in here. We got 25 likes. It'd be nice if you know what I'll be thinking. Look, look, okay. So, some of y'all watch me and sitting in front of the TV, and y'all probably got two or three people sitting in front of the TV with y'all. Y'all could get all of them to hit the fucking like button on the damn show. I should actually be having more fucking likes because. If y'all watching me on television and you got two or three people sitting in a room with you and you can't just get them to go to the show real quick and hit the like button. I'm forever going to kick people that's just here to argue with me. So if y'all only want to watch people argue with me, I don't need to be here. I'm dead serious. If that's all we're going to be, me coming online and have people arguing with me, I don't need to be here, man. I could go try to work on other content and work on other videos. I really don't need to be here if we're just going to have me here to be arguing with me. Literally. I mean, I literally don't even need to do the show, like the whole entire show. If I'm only, if the only reason why anybody is coming here to see people argue with me, we don't even need to do the show. I'm honest with you. I'll just make some, um, record some videos throughout the day and just upload it. I don't have to be here. I can just record the content and just upload it. I don't have to be here if you, you can argue with my recording. You understand? Like, I get it. I have no value. Y'all make me feel like I have no value. You understand what I'm saying? I get it. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't need to be here. You get it? I don't need to be here. So I, I'm going to start recording the fucking show and just upload it. And it's just uploaded as a as a as a as a as a premiere or whatever. Y'all don't need me to be here if I'm only talking to the people that don't like me, right? So what else y'all want to talk about? We can end the show now. What else y'all want to talk about? Nobody don't got nothing to talk about. I give it a second. Honestly, like fuck it. I'm high as shit. I don't really want to deal with it. Only people that want to talk to me is only if you could disrespect me. If you got to treat me with respect and you don't want to talk to me. I don't need to be here. What the fuck I need to be here for? All right, I'm out. Let me just put this in. Yeah, what do you mean? BBN, I mean, um, I mean, I can keep going, but people only want to see niggas argue with me, so I don't want to argue. That's literally why I just don't talk to people, because I don't want to argue. Literally. People wonder why I don't talk to people outside. I don't want to argue. People just seem to only want to argue with me. I don't want to argue, so I don't talk to nobody. <laughs> Period. So I don't want to argue. So we out. <laughs> the only people that's gonna talk to me is the people that want to argue with me. That I don't want to argue. Like, comment, subscribe, join the notification. If you got anybody still in your house, uh, 
Give them a hug. Tell them you love them. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Give people their flowers while they're still here. Also, when we wake up in the morning and before we go to bed, we want to have some water. Make sure you get that good old H2O with you. You want to drink it before you go to bed because then when you wake up tomorrow, you're going to have more energy. And you want to drink it in the morning because you want to restart your whole metabolism. You want to get all the things going. Um, also, whenever you're helping somebody else be the best of them that they could be in that moment, you're being the best of you that you can be. So go out there and do great. God first. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bronx. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. That's all I got. I'm out.